So this is our first commercial facility. Uh, we chose Sarnia, uh, and specifically in the Transalta uh, Energy Park, uh, for the location of the plant for several different reasons, uh, including access to infrastructure, utilities, proximity of feedstock, proximity of, uh, of end users. Uh, as I say, this is a first commercial plant for us. It will produce 60 million pounds of high purity dextrose uh, per year, primarily from corn stalks and wheat straw. Um, some of the production will be for the, uh, uh, the Canadian market, some will be for the international market. We also produce co-products which will end up in the animal feed chain. Um, it's important to, uh, in, in this particular industry, to get to commercial scale. Uh, this is a true commercial scale plant. Uh, and in terms of job creation, uh, there's uh, several advantages because as we partner along the value chain back to feedstock, there are uh, opportunities for job creation in, in the rural environment through feedstock collection aggregation, uh, also in the plant and then indirect jobs that, uh, that, that come from the region and opportunities for expansion on that site. So one of the very key drivers in our decision at Comet to locate our first commercial facility is access to feedstock. Uh, we had the opportunity to be part of Bioindustrial Innovation Canada's cellulosic sugar study where BIC looked at several different technologies, took them through a stage gate. Uh, at the very end of that process, uh, BIC recommended us uh, to be put in touch with the Farmer Cooperative, uh, cellulosic sugar producers cooperative. And so we've had an opportunity to work with them over the last roughly 16 to 18 months. The opportunity around feedstock is significant because of the productive acres here in southern Ontario and the ability to provide feedstock to a very good location uh, at, at Transalta in Sarnia. And as we look to optimize, drive out cost of the process and be able to ensure the technical success of the operation, it is critical to partner along the feedstock chain. And so uh, in partnership with the cooperative, they will aggregate and supply feedstock to the plant. Uh, they will be offered an equity position in the plant. And so everyone is incented along the value chain to optimize and drive down cost. Comet targets non-food feedstocks, and we do that for some very specific reasons, uh, most of which are related to, to market forces uh, and market demand. And so uh, as we move to a bioeconomy, uh, not only do consumers uh, want products not produced from petroleum. They also don't want products produced from food. This essentially for us breaks down into two pieces. Agricultural residues, of which straw, stover, bagasse, and forest products residues, underutilized uh, uh, forest materials. Uh, this is a sample of our high purity dextrose uh, produced in our demonstration facility. Uh, it is produced as a refined syrup. Uh, you can see by its color that it, it's, uh, it's very clear, uh, representative of its purity. This, in all material aspects, meets the specification required for high purity dextrose into bio-based chemical applications. Uh, one of the co-products that we produce uh, is hemicellulose, which is a, uh, a molasses type syrup. Uh, this material has applications in existing markets around animal feed liquid feeds, uh, feed pellet binders, um, and so this is a good example of us taking a non-food starting material uh, and producing a co-product that finds its way into the food chain. Mm -hmm.